Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking another look at the Lenovo D330 2-in-1 tablet laptop. And we're going to be taking a look at its performance in terms of video game emulation. Um, now, just a quick preface, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this particular machine, uh, have a look. Um, it's, it's a really inexpensive Surface Go type laptop from Lenovo. It is a two-in-one, so this part uh, is actually detachable, um, and obviously you have your base, which is the keyboard there. Now, uh, this machine is fairly low powered. Uh, it runs a Intel Celeron processor with four gigabytes of RAM, uh, you know, built-in internal graphics, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's not um, incredibly powerful, but uh, where it does get good marks is its battery life. So since it is a bit underpowered in terms of uh, what's under the hood, uh, it does able to eke out quite a bit of battery life. Um, you know, when I have all the radios and stuff turned off, you know, your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi, um, I could get close to almost 15 hours um, if I'm just working on simple stuff like Word documents and stuff, which is pretty wild. Um, anyway, it, it's a really good uh, travel laptop. However, um, you know, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what else can it do? And so today we're going to take a look at some video game emulation because I love my retro games. Anyway, just uh, quickly... This is the controller that I'm using. Uh, it is super cheap. I couldn't even tell you where I got it. It is generic as all heck. Uh, there are no brand or anything on it, but it does work. So uh, it's a wired controller. It's got dual analog sticks. And, uh, you know, it's got the configuration that uh, everyone's sort of familiar with. But that's my controller. Um, anyway, what we're going to be taking a look at today specifically is uh, Dolphin, uh, the Dolphin emulator, which does uh, Wii and GameCube games. Now, we're probably only going to take a look at some GameCube games. Uh, it, it will probably do Wii, this particular machine. However, um, getting the Wiimote uh, sort of configured is a bit of a pain. So I'm just going to focus on GameCube games uh, for today. And we're also going to take a look at Sony PlayStation, uh, sorry, Sony PSP. Uh, so that's the PlayStation Portable. I'm going to take a look at a bit, bit of that. And we're also going to take a look at the Redream emulator, which is a Dreamcast emulator. Um, these machines aren't terribly um, difficult to emulate. Uh, however, um, you know, a lower power machine like this uh, may struggle a tiny bit. But anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at those three. Basically, the other emulators that you probably be interested in, your Nintendo, your Super Nintendo, your Sega Genesis, all that stuff is going to run fine on this because, you know, that's really low spec stuff. It's going to have no issues whatsoever. So we're just going to take a look at some of the more graphically demanding games. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Okay, guys, what you're seeing here is me playing Mars Matrix for the Sega Dreamcast. It's a really fun shooter uh, game. Obviously, it's a, a vertical shooter, uh, but it quickly devolves into a bullet hell type game. Um, as you can see, uh, it looks really, really good. It plays really well. I'm a big fan of this game, so I've played it quite a bit, and I got to say that the emulation's pretty spot on. Um, having real no issues uh, yet. Um, the reason why I wanted to play this game is because you do get lots of sprites on the screen. So there's tons of stuff coming at you. There's tons of bullets. I just wanted to see how this particular, oh, just died there. I wanted to see how this particular machine handled um, a lot of stuff coming at you. Sorry guys, I'm getting real involved in this game. <laughs> Uh, but like I said, it, I mean, as far as performance is concerned, I've played this game a lot. It looks okay. I mean, it doesn't seem to be struggling at all. There's no frame skipping from what I can tell. Uh, there's a couple graphical issues here and there that I'm noticing. It's a little bit of tearing or whatever. Uh, but that's not affecting playability really at all. So, I mean, unless you're a real stickler, I think you'd be all right with this. Let's take a look at some other Dreamcast games. Okay, guys, what we got here is a great 2D fighter. It's uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and uh, it's got some great, you know, fighting action. It's a tag team sort of. I'm terrible at fighting games, guys, so just don't pay any attention to how badly I'm getting my ass beat right now. Um, but basically, as you can see, the emulation is quite good. Um, it is easily running at full speed. No graphical issues. There's lots of stuff on the screen flying at us. I mean, it's it's working really well. 
Don't have any issues with this whatsoever. Anyway, don't judge me. I mean, if you want in the comments to talk about how bad I am at this game, I mean, by all means, you can. Um, but, you know, I obviously need a little bit more practice. So anyway, so I'm um, happy to say that they're Redream emulator and, uh, you know, my collection of Dreamcast games are running really well on this little machine. And the screen looks great. Um, I know it's only, I think it's, uh, you know, obviously a lower res screen, but at a 10 inch size, uh, everything looks pretty good. It looks very crisp, very clean. The colors look great. Anyway, let's check out GameCube. Okay guys, we're taking a look at PSP emulation at the moment. I am currently playing Virtua Tennis, which is a fantastic tennis game. Um, even if you don't really like tennis, I find this game to be oddly addictive. Um, I'm playing as Roger Federer at the moment. Um, and, you know, obviously he's still playing. Sorry for my mouse cursor is just in the screen there. But uh, anyway, usually um, what I've noticed is that, uh, you know, stuff like your Raspberry Pi 3 and whatnot really struggle uh, with a lot of PSP games. I've had emulation be real hit or miss. This particular game um, does not run very well on my Raspberry Pi 3. So uh, to see it running at full speed here is, is pretty impressive. And again, you know, obviously this is going to be more powerful than a Raspberry Pi 3. But um, you know, it's good to see this sort of level of, of uh, accurate emulation. Anyway, let's uh, check out another PSP game. Okay, guys, uh, we're back with PSP. We're looking at uh, Burnout Legends. Uh, Burnout is a great series. If you haven't really played it, uh, it's a great little arcade-style racer um, with a focus on, you know, vehicular sort of, not necessarily combat, but vehicular destruction. Um, I mean, right now I'm playing a mode where called Road Rage, where the whole idea is to just smash other cars and get them to crash. Um, and you'll notice that obviously there's some body damage on the cars and whatnot. It's actually quite fun. I just crashed myself because for some reason I decided to look behind me. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, uh, this is emulating really well. Um, it's definitely at full speed. There's no real graphical issues that I can spot. Um, and it's quite fun. I'm having a great time with it. Um, PSP as well tends to upscale games a little bit because the PSP screen was quite small. Um, so to blow it up, ah, uh, got me. Uh, to, to blow up the image um, would result in a sort of grainy, um, you know, presentation. So the, the uh, PPSSPP emulator that I'm using, uh, which I think is pretty much the standard uh, for PSP emulation, uh, does a really good job at sort of upscaling those, um, the, the graphics to make them look better on a larger screen. Um, I should also note that I am playing this with frame skipping on. I'm skipping one frame. Um, so now you can tweak that in the settings of PPSSPP um, to try to get games to run a little bit better. Um, 
I will say that I tried to run the God of War games. Um, not happening on this little machine. Uh, the God of War games typically are known for um, their difficulty in terms of emulation. You do need a sort of decently powered machine. Um, this guy is not doing it, uh, which is unfortunate. I thought maybe it would, but uh, yeah, God of War just isn't working. Dante's Inferno, which is a God of War sort of clone, um, is another one that can be tough to emulate. I could get it running on this machine, but there was lots of slowdown, um, very laggy uh, audio issues as well. Lots of audio problems. But anyway, let's check out one more game for the PSP, and it's one of my favorites of all time. Okay, guys, so we've got Metal Slug Anthology. Um, the Metal Slug games are super fun. They're cartoony, run-and-gun games. They're lots of fun. If you've never played them, I highly recommend. Uh, they were originally out in the arcade, um, and then I think if you had a Neo Geo, which I didn't know anybody who had a Neo Geo um, when I was growing up, uh, you could get it that way, uh, but like I said, I'd never played it outside the arcade, so um, obviously the anthology is super fun, and I believe this was also available on the Wii, um, but the PSP version's great. It comes with, I think, five or six Metal Slug games. This is the first one, um, and yeah, as far as emulation is concerned, this little machine is, is running this game fine, no problems. Uh, there's always lots of stuff happening. Sometimes, uh, you know, the game will have a bit of slowdown, especially with some of the larger boss enemies. Um, but, like I said, what I'm noticing right now is um, not really having any issues. Uh, it's playing really well, and it seems I'm not doing fantastic. It's actually quite hard to play because I'm like trying to film this at the same time, so like I'm like playing this through my my video camera screen, which is a bit odd. So I apologize. I, I'm really not this bad at, at games. Um, I'm you know decent. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so PSP emulation on this little Lenovo laptop is pretty good. Um, I would say that, uh, I know we haven't tested it, but uh, PS1 games are going to run fine on this as well, for the most part. I mean, you may run into a couple that uh, may have some issues, but um, yeah, it's working really well. I don't think you're going to be able to do anything else uh, beyond this. I think you'd have trouble with, uh, you know, PS2. I mean, PS2 emulation isn't fantastic, even when you have a great machine. Um, so... I mean, if you want to run stuff like Nintendo, Sega Genesis, or Sega Mega Drive, depending on where you're up from, um, or if you're looking at, um, you know, potentially, you know, emulating some handhelds or whatever, you're going to have no problem with this machine. Um, it's, it's quite good. And again, it's really, really compact. So, I mean, you can take this traveling on a plane with you or something like that. All you got to do is grab a controller. Hey, maybe you even want to do the little 8-bit do zero controller uh, that I reviewed for the channel about a year ago. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so Lenovo D330 um, emulation is pretty good. And you'll definitely have a lot of fun with this little guy. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will be back next week with a brand new video. This is Gizmo Joe signing off. Thanks for watching.